Hallelujah and blessings, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus Christ is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 24th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, I trust that you're feeling blessed this morning, even though you may have woke up turned on the morning news, and asked yourself the question, what in the world is going on? Now, even though we ask that question, we know what is going on if we have read our Bibles, because the Bible tells us it's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets any better. And what I mean by that is that we, as the people of God, are under attack. Even more so, we as people who have common moral standards are under attack. Now, what I mean by that is that there are many people who have good moral standards but do not serve the Lord Jesus Christ faithfully each day. But even those people are under attack. You see, there is a spirit of hatred that is upon the world today. Those who have good moral values, which ultimately derive from the Word of God, from the law of God, even though they wouldn't admit it, those who have these moral values see those values being attacked each and every day. We see it with the legalization of marijuana. We see it early on back in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s with the legalization of alcohol. We see it in strip clubs, pornographic magazines, the way these things have risen and become so popular. We see it with the homosexual movement, the lesbian, the transgender movement, or better known as the LBGTQ, adding whatever letters follow community, who seem to be following their own perversive lusts and desires as opposed to honoring the word of God or good moral values. Now, ultimately, we see this attack from a political standpoint, but even though this political standpoint may be the tier, beneath that tier flow many decisions that are being made that are attacking us each and every day. Most prominently, we have seen the taking down of these statues. Now, the argument isn't whether or not these people stood for good godly values and practices what you have to understand here is that this is just the tip of the iceberg. You see, if they're attacking our forefathers who built this country and they're going after these statues, don't you think that next will be the Constitution, the Articles of Declaration that this country is founded on? And once these statues are taken down and these historical documents are attacked, they're coming for the cross, friend. But when you see a country who claims to be 70 plus percent Christian, and that's very highly debatable by the way that they live their lives, if you were to attack the church, if you were to attack the cross, you were to start tearing these things down, you would have a riot upon your hands that they don't want to face, they being the governments of this country. But as in all things, there is a conditioning going on meaning that they start at point A by attacking things that we may not defend so vigorously, but one step leads to the next step, leads to the next step, to once they're taking down the crosses, we're going to be left asking the question, how did this happen? It happened by allowing them to take down these statues, by causing this division. Do you remember what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12 and verse 25? It says, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Every kingdom, friends, this includes the United States of America. This includes Europe. This includes Australia and any other country. You look at the Muslim movement, the way that they have always attacked is exactly the way that America is under attack right now. It goes on, it says, every city and every house divided against itself shall not stand. Well, friends, there's no argument. America specifically is divided right now. And in this division, we will see its fall. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. The fall and destruction of America is coming. 
So as the people of God, what are we to do? Well, certainly we're to stand for the word of God. We're to stand on the side of God. We're to stand for his principles, his truths, his statutes, and his judgments. But even more so, friends, we are told in Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways. What ways? And see and ask for the old paths. So stand in the old ways. Stand in the old paths. Don't be part of a progressive America or a progressive Europe or a progressive Australia or any other country. Don't be swept away by the progressiveness of this new world order that seeks to make the world a better place by becoming liberal in our views and tolerant to all others in our approaches. We have to draw the line, friends. And if that means that we're not being tolerant, so be it. It goes on and says, Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? Now, that's not a question, where is the good way? It's saying, stand in the past, which is the good way. Stand in these old paths. That's the good way. And walk therein, and then you shall find rest for your souls. It's like we spoke about yesterday. We find liberty in the boundaries that we're confined within as the people of God. When we allow ourselves to cross these boundaries, we become miserable people. And so here's all I can tell you today about this divided world that we live in. It's not going to stop. It's going to get more divided each and every day. And so what we need to be doing is spending time in prayer, time in fellowship with God, preparing ourselves for this evil onslaught under the evil hand of Lucifer himself. We need to make ourselves ready, courageous, so that we will exercise Christian discipline even in the most horrible and destructive forms of opposition and persecution, and that we will be faithful during these times, that love will flow from our hearts. And as we watch these events taking place on the news, let us pray for these people. Let us pray for these college students that are burning down buildings, beating one another in the streets. Let us pray for our mayors and our governors, our presidents, our kings, and our princes. Let us pray for our policemen and our firemen because we know as a whole, nothing is going to change, but can one be saved? Absolutely. Jesus is at work in the lives of men and women across the face of this earth. The Holy Spirit is speaking to hearts of men and women and seeking out those who would hear his message. So friends, be faithful. Be alert. Be aware. Things aren't going to get better. Things are not going to become whole again until the Lord Jesus comes. Satan knows his time is short. His way is division, and he is causing and creating as much chaos as he possibly can. So stand for truth. Stand in the old ways. Be immovable. And there and then we shall find rest for our souls. Well, I love you, friends. It is my prayer that you leave this devotion this morning a little bit stronger, a little bit wiser, and a little bit more committed than when you arrived. Now, may the Lord Jesus bless your walk today. May you walk in the absolute power of his spirit, and may you be a blessing to all that you come in contact with. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.